Well, as we all know, parallel parking can be tricky. Oh, it sure can, but it's even trickier in downtown Kansas City. KCTV 5 discovered parking spaces near the new streetcar tracks that failed to meet the city ordinance. They are too narrow, not just off by a few inches. We're talking several feet. Investigative reporter Angie Ricono is live to explain what's driving some downtown drivers crazy. Angie. OK, this is my forerunner and I take it everywhere. I get groceries, I haul the kids around. Of course, I drive it to work. But the next time I come downtown, I might want to think about doing something else. Check out my parking job. I really try to do a good job. My tire is all the way on the curb. Now let's head around to the front of my car and you can see how my SUV simply does not fit. If you look at the front tire, it is on the white line. You have incredibly narrow spots down here. And this is the only place in Kansas City where you'll find this problem. Let's call this a mirage of parking. Open spots, but will your car actually fit? You've probably never thought about that, but our photographer Andy Zimmerman did. I parked in this spot and it just seemed really small to me. He's right, and there's a Kansas City ordinance for parking spots. They're supposed to be eight and a half feet wide. A compact spot is seven and a half feet. Head to the streetcar line. Wow, skinny spots. Check out this spot here. Six feet, four inches. Six foot one and a half right here. We used a tape measure and chalk, and you can clearly see parking spots aren't standard. They aren't even compact. I live down about 19th and Main, and I noticed it because it's just my standard fusion wouldn't fit in the lines. Josh Kirk is fighting parking tickets, pointing out problems with the lines. I did go to court and they did drop them because I just said that the lines were too narrow, but they haven't done anything about it yet. Check out the signs. Nothing warns drivers about the skinny spots. Notice how this SUV is on the line, even though it's parked right next to the curb. Now, I was going to have you guys come down and do an actual bring your best guy and have him do a parallel parking contest and see who can actually, you know, park, you know, parallel park against the curb and not be over that line. Downtown merchants are battling these parking lines, realizing cars don't fit and their customers get fined. I saw a guy get towed the other day. You think he's ever going to come down and shop downtown again? Standard spots are eight and a half feet or 102 inches wide. The lines in front of Pat Carroll's map shop originally measured 64 inches. We looked up car specs and it turns out a Prius wouldn't fit. Either would a Mini Cooper or even a Fiat. So what about a smart car? Well, the tires would fit, but the city says the mirrors can't hang over. So technically, a smart car isn't safe to park near some tracks. We took our findings to the city. It looks like parking, but their cars don't really fit, and then they're getting tickets. Well, we are working on that. The city's public works spokesperson explained first the city laid out where the streetcar would go, and then the city painted lines measuring out from the tracks. So street parking is different on different streets, and sometimes it's even different on different sides of the same street. We want to make sure that as many people can park downtown and on Main Street as they are as possible within the bounds of safety. But stay within the bounds of those white lines. If your tires touch, that's a $70 fine. Tack on another $270, your car gets towed. Okay, so the spots down here don't meet the city ordinance, and the city says that's okay. They consider that ordinance more of a baseline, and what they're trying to do down here is to preserve the parking because it's needed. But there's nothing down here, as you see from all these signs, to warn the drivers that these spots are super narrow. So spread the word. Reporting live in downtown, Angie Ricano, KCTV 5 News. Angie, we heard the city says that they're working on it. Are there plans to actually change those lines or the signs at all? They will eventually change the signs. I can tell you they've already started changing some of the lines. Look at this. You can see how even here they originally painted it and they've moved it over and that way some cars can fit. So along here, what I'm seeing, the sedans are fine. You really get into a problem with the SUVs and the trucks, but people are getting creative. I've seen people who actually put their tires up on the curb, and that's what Josh Kirk is doing, the guy you heard from. So he has his passenger tires all the way up on the curb, and that way his tires stay inside the white line. No more tickets. Yeah, it certainly is not fair to be giving out tickets if those uh, spaces are too little.
Thank you, Angie. The investigation continues online. Head to KCTV5.com for downtown parking maps, streetcar parking rules, and instructional videos provided by the Kansas City Streetcar. It's all online at KCTV5.com.